Hi, in this video we are going to see the applications of DC series generator and at the end of the video I am going to share some of the interesting thing with you and observing that thing I am sure you will like this video. So do not forget to watch this video till the end. So quickly jump to the video. Hi, this is Budraj and you are watching Learning Vibes. This is another video on video lecture series on DC machine. If you want to learn anything more about DC machine, then check out the playlist, the link of that playlist in description box below. So now just quickly jump to the video. So this is the classification of DC generator. In previous video, we have discussed this classification with animations of its circuit diagram as well as in its wiring diagram separate wiring diagram for all these different types of DC generator. So I think you would like to check out that video, right? So the link of that video is in description box below and above here in right corner. Now, previously we have seen the applications of separately excited DC generator and series DC generator. Here we are going to discuss the application of series DC generator, right? So this is what we are going to discuss in this video. So now quickly jump to the application part. Basically the series DC generator is used to provide field excitation current for the regenerative braking in locomotives. Why it is like this? Because series DC generator has tendency to provide large current. So that is why it can be used over here. The next application for this DC series generator is it can be used as a booster in distribution network for railways and because of its characteristics to provide large current right for the same speed it can provide larger current with respect to DC shunt generator and that is why it is preferred over here. Now if we talk about the next application of the series DC generator then it can be used as a source to charge batteries because it can give a constant output voltage, right? So this is the reason behind using this DC generator to charge the batteries. If we talk about the next application, then this series DC generator can be used as a source for series arc light and heavy power supply. Because in series arc light and heavy power supply, a large amount of current is required. Basically, the field resistance of series generator is very less as compared to shunt generator and that is why it can provide a larger current to the load for the same amount of speed, right? So that is why the series DC generator is used in all these applications. The next application for DC series generator is it can be used as a source for arc welding purposes. Basically, this arc welding application is also required a heavy current, right? So, all these applications which require heavy current, at that moment you can use this series DC generator. Now, we are going to see all these applications again. But before moving ahead, there is a quick short question for you and the question for you is on your display. I am not going to speak the question, you have to read it and Try to answer that question in comment section below. I just want to give you a check, a verifying check whether you have really learned anything from this video or not. So the purpose is this much only. So do not forget to write answer in comment section below. And it's very hard work to prepare this type of video, right? So you just need to do really one small thing. Just hit the like button. If you can do this thing, that would be a great appreciation for me and if you do not do this thing, no issue, let's move ahead. So these are the applications of DC shunt generator. Watch this thing, learn this thing, try to understand this application and if you find any query while understanding this application, ask me in comment section below, I'll give you the answer as soon as possible. And if you want to learn any other topic on DC series generator with animations, then write that title in comment section below. I'll make sure that I will make video on that topic with animation. 
so that it would be easier for you to understand those things right so until we meet again in our next video till that time bye bye